where are we? I've absolutely no idea. We're on a municipal campsite, somewhere heading towards Poitiers, perhaps. I don't know. Save me. So a municipal com campsite on the Comp way site? to Poitiers. Compsite, too much French. Comping? Comps comping. Il y a comping près d'ici. That's a good phrase to, to learn actually. Il y a comping près d'ici. Is there a campsite near here? Or here? Uh, thank you. Yeah, so on a municipal campsite. We, just, we went off into the wild and tried to find a, a park up, but boy, 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 boy. We did find a place. It was really lovely. There was a park, there was a pond, there was a walkabout, there was crazy golf if you had your own crazy golf clubs and balls. And a la mouche. <laughs> but there were la mouche everywhere. The flies, oh my days. We walked through one little bit and they just bombarded us. And then they wouldn't leave us alone. They literally followed us all the way around the park. Now that might be because we need a shower. <laughs> it's been a long day but they were horrible they were huge and they just kept flying at us it was yeah no. so we ran away back to the van so that is the problem that when the weather gets this hot and this still some of them excuse me some of them picturesque locations beside a river or beside a lake they become mozzy magnets so um you've got to watch that so if you're looking for park ups avoid them places you're better off going into the fields or into the forests and even the forest obviously you're going to still find mods but not as much as when you get near still water that's for sure so yeah a little municipal campsite i think there's a sports stadium down there the main road is just there so that could be quite noisy i can hear a scooter for me already so we'll get sorted out here and uh onto potier area tomorrow that's pretty cool still got a few days left uh, but the weather's meant to change overnight tonight. Storms are coming. So we're uh, batting down the hatches. Right. There you go. To give you an idea of how we're feeling at the moment, the temperature today has reached 36 in Bordeaux. The humidity was 78%. That's a lot of humidity. We're chancing on this municipal campsite, and you'll find these along all over France. Again, for those that don't know, municipal just means that it's run by the local mairie. Uh, council campsites if you like um, this one because we've arrived so late there's no one here to take our money and the guy we spoke to uh, the French guy we just spoke to as we come onto the camp with our uh, with my frockney uh, says that um, the guy that normally collects the money comes around midday well we'll be gone by then so uh, it could be a freebie oh dear so uh, let's get sorted for the night Good morning, from a surprisingly quiet, peaceful, good night's sleep municipal campsite. It worked out just about fine. So we're, what we're hoping to do now is head off towards Amboise, uh, which is not far from the big city of Tours, and uh, have a little look around there. But this, this location was absolutely fine. It was boiling last night, so we slept with the doors open, and it was uh, it cooled down to a lovely, comfortable temperature. So much so that we uh, we had a real peaceful night's sleep. And I think it's early enough that we're going to get away with leaving this campsite without having to pay anything. So uh, yeah, all in all, great. So let's see if we can sneak off this campsite. <laughs> <laughs> because we don't want to pay the five euros. <laughs> Not it at all. No. So they don't come round till midday and we are not staying here till midday. No. 
Simple. You putting your makey on? Um, I want to sort this frizz out. Okay, scissors. <laughs> So we've made our way north and we're now at Amboise. Well, there could be trouble ahead. The wind's picking up and there's stormy clouds above coming in. We've managed to keep just in front of it on the journey down, but there could be a, a little wee bit of trouble. <laughs> a little. So as you can see guys, the, uh, I think this is the last of our suntan. It's uh, really blowing up a breeze now. And uh, obviously the sun's hidden behind that blanket of uh, low cloud, which is gonna threaten us with uh, storms for the next couple of days. So we've booked onto this municipal campsite in the middle of, um, it's like an island between the two rivers. We done a, a tour in a, in my car a few years back, well it was a long, long time ago now, which really got us uh, into France. And we went around about seven or eight different B&Bs, different areas all across uh, France, just trying to get a flavor and a taste of the, uh, the environment and the different towns and villages. And uh, Amboise uh, was one that we visited. We stayed in a B&B &B up the road. And unfortunately, because of the, uh, this was just the first leg of the journey. We didn't get a chance to have a real good look around. So we came down here, we walked down here from the B&B, um, &B, popped into the town, almost turned around and come back out, jumped in the car and then moved on. But it's always been on our list to come back. And uh, this is an absolute ideal place to stop off on your way down to any of the places in France, whether you're, um, especially if you're going to down the Limoges way or over to La Rochelle or across to Clermont-Ferrand, you can, uh, up in this this area but uh, in the meantime we're just waiting to get on the campsite it's a municipal as i said earlier the problem with it is quite quite busy and we can't get in there until 12 o'clock which is the uh, checkout time for some of the vans and we're on pitch 250 something so it's quite a big campsite What's your verdict? Yeah, they're all right. Yeah? Yeah, they're clean. They've got toilet seats on. Really? Which is, yeah. Always a bonus. Novelty for France. Ooh. They're getting there. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Lots of showers. Oh, yeah. It's mixed. Oh, I've got going with loads of different women again. Yes. <laughs> God yeah, damn those mixed left. showers, eh? Toilets on the right. Okay. Rose is barely bearing up. She's looking rather poorly. I think you're overwatering her. Nothing to do with the uh, 38 degrees. So we've checked in and the price for this campsite is 19 euros per night and that's with electricity. <laughs> 
I wish there's I'd go down. <laughs> there was a stump. If it's on that uneven ground, Claire will find it. <laughs> you poo there. Don't scoop that up in your sandal. That'd be horrible. So yeah, out of season, or well, slightly out of season as we are now. The prices are bloody brilliant, really. Nine. It's just shinned me to try and trip me over, knowing that I don't trip over anything. <laughs> so it just hurts her own leg. <laughs> So yeah, 19 euros for out of season, that's pretty damn good. In a real tourist attraction place as well. <laughs> oh, I wish we could do this longer. I wouldn't mind sitting editing and doing the videos as a full-time job, because it's hard work sometimes. But uh, when you've got normal jobs that you have to uh, go to, to allow you to do this stuff, then it all becomes busy. And I'm sure some of you vloggers out there will absolutely agree. Some of the big channels that are putting out, I don't know, one, two videos a week, oh. if they're editing them. I mean, some people don't like the editing ones, edited, they just like the pure, raw, unedited versions. But if you sit there and edit your videos, then you know that it takes a long, long time. And we just received a comment. Oh, I wish I could remember who it was by, but thank you for ever putting it on there understanding that for one video a 20 minute video can can take me hours and hours so thanks for recognizing that it's appreciated so and was Situated between the D952 and the D31 on the banks of the Loire River, Amboise is a beautiful small town with narrow streets and timbered houses that are dominated by the Chateau de Amboise. grand 15th century residence of King Charles VIII. The chateau features the tomb of Leonardo da Vinci, royal chambers, gardens and underground passageways. So literally you're um five minute walk from the campsite and you can be crossing the bridge into Amboise. Very warm. So literally just the other side of the bridge 
you walk into the main precinct of uh, Amboise. Loads of eating places and loads of tourists, including us. Pure scale of this thing is really impressive on this uh, on the outside. So come uh, away from the town and follow the wall round uh, to the riverside, and then you get this impressive uh, view of the chateau. And it's really really nice, and there's so much patina here where things have aged and worn. A great little place to explore, that's for sure. So we're just on the other side of Amboise now. But uh, on the side there is a scout and you can see right at the very top in 1755 and in 1856 the water level was only two bricks down from the very top of that bridge there. Which must have absolutely decimated some of this uh, town and village. So, as you might be able to hear from the pitter patter, it's raining. So, Claire's watching a really, really cool film called. Um, it's a crime exclusive and it's called Love, Weddings, and Other Disasters. <sighs> it so, was that or the new Cinderella? <laughs> that or the new Cinderella? <laughs> Well, I'll be uh, sitting outside in the rain then. Because <laughs> that <laughs> well, sounds. I don't want to watch the other one till later. So, uh, yes, everything's gone wet. I just, just had a go at cleaning a bit of the canopy. So, we bought this one uh, second hand and I'll show you it needs a damn good clean. So, anyone knows any ways of cleaning these or any products that are best to use on these, then uh, give us a shout, leave us a message. Um, I know it's going to take some scrubbing. Claire? Any idea? Call me a no, I didn't call you a scrubber. I just said, do you have any idea about how to clean the canopy? You will be the disaster in that film if you're not careful. Pardon? You'll be the disaster in that film if you're not careful. What disaster? The love weddings and other disasters. Oh. Call me a scrubber. I didn't call her a scrubber, I just said. You referred you, to me. <laughs> no, I didn't refer to you. I just said, do you know any good cleaning products that we could use possibly to revitalise our no, canopy? That's not what you said. <laughs> you said it needs scrubbing. Claire? <laughs> what are you doing? You think there's some kind of boudoir shoot? <laughs> Camper van I'm boudoir? Trying to get comfy. <laughs> trying to get comfy. Did. Let's get some clickbait. Clickbait, this is, guys. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Oh my days! Goodbye! <laughs> oh, I'm in top centre! <laughs>
What a floozy. What a floozy. You're on film and you've done, done the, the top button. People want to see this. One, one comfy in the camper van. <laughs> one nearly fell out then. <laughs> right, let's get this boudoir shoot underway. Under <laughs> lights, camera, action. Oh no, that sounds wrong as well. <laughs> <laughs>